Now, remember this. Words are tools. Somebody walks up to you, and they don't know anything about your current physical condition. And they say, how are you doing? And even when people walk up to me, and I don't want to get into any big discussion, people say, how are you doing? I said, I'm incredible. I said, I'm vertical. I'm on this side of the carpet. I'm eating solid food. Who could ask for anything more? Who could ask for anything more? Hey there, I thought I would just jump in here and let you know this video that you're watching is a speech that Bob Mowad gave about a year before he passed away. And I gotta tell you, he was always amazing to watch, but I just wanna point out a couple distinctions. Number one, this was a time when he was already battling for five years with a rare form of cancer. His body wasn't as strong as it normally was in earlier years and so forth, but anytime he could speak, he took up the opportunity. He was an amazing example of resilience, but also attitude. And in this message that you're gonna hear, he talks about the power of words and the power of that internal conversation. That what you put in your mind has a direct impact on your performance and on your results. So you wanna make sure that you get that, that information right because garbage in, garbage out. But I also want to let you know, a few months before Bob passed away is when he approached me to write a book together and we did just that. We wrote The Secret of the Slight Edge. And I wanted to let you know for the first time, now it's never been available before, is the ebook version, the digital ebook version that you can get. And we've updated a couple things in it, but really kept it true to Bob when we originally wrote it. But in that book, you're gonna discover what the slight edge is. In the book, you're gonna discover attitude, how important attitude is. You're gonna discover self-image. You're gonna discover that internal ad campaign and how are you using it to your greatest benefit, all right? So I just invite you to go check it out. All right, enjoy the rest of this video. I'll go into a supermarket, just as I mentioned earlier. How are you doing today? I said, well, I'm kind of fluctuating. Well, you know, they don't, what? They don't expect that. They're just saying something to, to salve the, the everyday living. And I said, fluctuating? I said, yeah, I go between incredible and sensational. I go up to incredible, and then I kind of drift down to sensational. I said, it's interesting, intriguing. I haven't really lit on one or the other. I've been in between them all day. <laughs> it's a good zone, though, isn't it, Mr. Mowad? I said, it's a very good zone. Every time you come in here, you say something like that. I said, would you like to be incredible every day? And they said, yeah. I said, then do what I do. What's that? Maintain a low standard. <laughs> Any day on this side of the asphalt is all it takes for me to have a terrific day. We have friends on the other side of the asphalt that would love to have a shot at a bad day. <laughs> oh, Lord, give me one more bad day. I promise to have a better attitude. <laughs> and we're in control of that. It's not our children. It's not our ex. It's not our supervisor, our administrator, our manager. It's not the government. I'm 100% responsible for my large, moderate, small wins as well as losses. And a lot of people don't like to hear that. They don't want to be put in charge. They want to leave it to they. You know, if at first you don't succeed, set the blame quick. Pointing the finger at other people, forgetting that they're pointing three fingers at themselves. So what do you listen to? Turn on that inspirational music. And as I mentioned earlier, if you have a strong spiritual bent, then put on that spiritual music. I'm going down to the river of Jordan. Down to the river of Jordan. These days I do you now I'm going down to the river of Jordan. I'm going down to the river of Jordan one of these days. A thrill on Blueberry Hill. On Blueberry Hill. When I found you, the world stood still. A 
go into our, in our living room where we have a grand piano, and it'll just, it, it buoys me. It lifts me up playing this music. And, and whatever music you love to listen to. Country music, I'm a country music fan. My wife and I love the country, the line dance. We love the two-step. But as I mentioned earlier, you need to be careful to a nonstop diet of country music because there's still a lot of heartbreak in there. And it's just like an advertising campaign. All of a sudden, you buy into the fi fact that life is negative. You know, I, I give you some of the titles. I'm so miserable without you, it's just like having you around. <laughs> if I'd shot you sooner, I'd been out of jail by now. <laughs> You're the reason our kids are so ugly. <laughs> I think your wife's cheating on us again. <laughs> Manage your input. If you manage your input, you will manage your output. If you manage your output, you're your self-managed, you manage your output. Podcast listeners, thanks for listening. You've taken time out of your schedule, and I really appreciate it. Now do me a favor. If you like what you heard, star it. Thanks. Now go unleash your greatness within. Greatnesswithin.com